Saturday. It's been a busy morning already around here. So very early this morning, Titus and Jacob and Tyler and Cody all left to go over to the trout tournament. They left here right before 5.30. When they left, I went and laid back down for a little bit because that was pretty early and everybody else was still asleep. So I went back to sleep for about an hour and then we got up, I started doing some cleaning. I cleaned, I didn't finish all of the windows, but I cleaned the windows back there and I did the ones on the front door here. Still need to do these and then all the windows in the bedroom, bedrooms, <laughs> laundry room, all the other windows there are lots more but i got those windows cleaned so then after lunch titus came to get us so that we could go watch the boys fish for a little bit before it ended well before it ends it's still not quite over yet it ends at two so they still have about 20 minutes left so anyway he came to get us so that we could go over there and watch them for a little bit but we couldn't really watch them because you know when you're trout fishing you're moving up and down the river and the spot in the river where they had it sectioned off for the tournament has really steep sides so there's like nowhere to sit really to watch or anything so we did stay for just a little bit and then he brought us back so that's been the first half of our day i was gonna make some crepes for breakfast this morning i was all pumped up and motivated about it like I even was gonna make the crepe mixture last night, but we were watching movies and all, and I didn't end up doing it. And I was like, it's okay, I'll get up and make it in the morning. And then when the alarm clock started going off at four, I was like, I have some uh, frozen sausage egg and cheese biscuits in the freezer. That sounds good to me. So I didn't make the crepes. They had sausage egg and cheese biscuits. But what was I even gonna tell y'all when I got off on the crepes? Those crepes are so good. I've been wanting to make them again for like two weeks now and I add it to the breakfast meal plan and then I still don't make them. So uh, the reason is, is because you can only make one at a time. I mean, unless you get out a bunch of different pans and you don't want to do that because then you got to wash them all. <laughs> but they take a little while to make because you just do one at a time and then, you know, yeah, it just takes a little bit. But anyway, what I'm doing now is working on the meal plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday. So after church, I'm trying to think, I know I want to make a ham and I'm thinking that I might make the ham tonight and then that way tomorrow I just have to make the sides after church. I'm gonna make the desserts tonight too. We're gonna to do a lemon meringue pie, unless I change my mind before I start making these things, go to the store. A lemon meringue pie and a coconut cream poke cake. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna make for the desserts. And then we're gonna have ham, mashed potatoes, I'm trying to decide what kind of beans. Whenever I figure out everything I'm gonna make, I need to go to the store real quick to get everything. And we could just get something to eat from somewhere tonight. Everybody's back now. John and Audra are out here doing some fishing. Oh, My tadpoles. Dad. Jacob did catch one, but it wasn't one of the tagged ones. If you caught a tagged fish, you got a prize no matter what, right? Yeah. It wasn't tagged though. Oh, that's nice. If you ever need your shoes to dry, just put them on top of your house. <laughs> How many are in there? Six. Look at all these guys. These are fresh. These are fresh tadpoles right here. Y'all, the frogs are so loud at night. Toads, so loud. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Titus has a few things he needs to go do. So me and the three younger kids are just gonna ride with him. Hey, Cece. We're just gonna ride with him and then on our way back, I'm gonna swing by either Walmart or Ingalls and go ahead and get the stuff that we need and we'll just bring something home for supper. The only problem we have is Manly is still sleeping and he is not gonna be too happy if I go wake him up right now. He's been asleep for a little over an hour. So I'm hoping he'll just naturally wake up in about 15 minutes or so because I think that's when we're gonna be leaving in about 20 minutes. Cece wants y'all to see her necklace is so pretty. Jonah got this for her out of a, where I got your shirt wet. <laughs> he got this for her out of a machine and she has a ring that matches very pretty hey and it all matches your sparkly bunny too while we're waiting i'm gonna sweep the floor real quick where everybody came back inside there's some little this is actually some popcorn i think we had some popcorn left over from last night and cc was eating some earlier she must have dropped a few There's some eggs right over there. We didn't know we were coming to a mini zoo, did we, Manny? We saw Edward the emu when we were pulling in, so we're walking down here to look at him. You see the bull? What is that? It's the bull. I see a pig. Do y'all see the pig? Yeah. What is that? That's a pig. Can you say pig? Oh, 
It's Edward the emu. Say, come here, emu. How do you call an emu? Look at that baby goat. That thing is tiny. Yeah, that's the sound the emus make. Why does this feel like Jurassic Park right now? I don't know. It's Edward and Edwina. They sound like drums. That is adorable. Daddy, look. Hi, little baby. That is the prettiest little cat. Ah. Oh, did it bite you? Yes. Hey. Hey, little baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw the quack quack? He calls the emus quack quacks too. Yeah, they're begging right there. <laughs> Sissy doesn't want to leave the baby goat. Come on. Okay, y'all, we are back home. We just stopped by Ingles on the way home. We decided we're gonna grill out hot dogs again. We have some chili. Titus grabbed that. I don't even know what kind he wanted. They really love roasting hot dogs outside. Okay, he got Bunker Hill. I like Hormel better than Bunker Hill, but that's okay. I also got all the stuff that I need for the Easter dinner. So after supper tonight and we get everything cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and start making what I can. We ended up just getting ham that's already fully cooked, so I won't have to put that in the oven until tomorrow. Ingles had some hams, but they did not really have a big selection. So we just went with the kind that's already fully cooked. So tonight I'm gonna be making the desserts for sure. I'm gonna start the macaroni and cheese in the morning, the ham, we'll put it in the oven right when we get home from church. It won't take it long to heat up while I'm heating everything else back up. What else? The green beans can be tomorrow. Actually, I may just be making desserts tonight. Slaw dogs, chili dogs going down tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and make the slaw if I can find it. Y'all, you know my favorite slaw from Ingles was the kind with the red truck on the front but they stopped carrying it. I don't know if they stopped making that slaw mix or if Ingles just stopped carrying it. Chef Buddies or something was the name of it. Anyway, they haven't had it in several months, so I had to get some other kind. Old Fashioned Coleslaw. I don't know the brand name of it, but it just says Old Fashioned Coleslaw on it. Fresh Express Old Fashioned Coleslaw. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this, then I'll get everything put up. That way this can be sitting in the refrigerator. <laughs> finished eating. We got the kitchen clean. I got the baby to bed. I got ready for bed. So we're going to go ahead and get this white cake mix mixed together here. We're going to get it in the oven. This is for the coconut cream poke cake. Sissy already fell asleep too and Jonah is upstairs reading, I think. Is he reading, Tyler? Under <laughs> Tyler said he was under his bed doing something. They had those really tall beds, you know, so they can go up under there. Sometimes they make clubhouses under there. I think Jake's asleep, isn't he? I'm just whisking this by hand because I do it a lot anyway if I'm just making a boxed cake mix. But also because so many people are already asleep. I thought about mixing the strawberry jello poke cake with this coconut cream poke cake. I think it actually will be very, very good. So we're going to try that. <laughs> we're going to experiment this Easter. I mean, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure nothing could go wrong with this. <laughs> gonna make the meringue tomorrow because I will have to use the mixer for that. I don't want to wake anybody up so I'm just gonna let this completely cool then I'll stick it in the refrigerator. The cake is done so we're gonna go ahead now and do the jello part and the cream of coconut part to the cake.
Alright, so I took about half of the can of the cream of coconut and we're going to pour it over the top of the cake. The rest of it I'm going to put in the refrigerator. We'll use it for smoothies or something. Alright, so that's it for now. When this completely cools down, we're going to put Cool Whip on top. I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the refrigerator. Alright y'all, so I let the cake cool down, then I put a tub of whipped topping on the top. Now I'm just going to put coconut flakes. I'm going to leave a little bit without the coconut flake because there's a couple of the kids who don't like. How many times can I say coconut flakes? We're going to leave a little spot without them. There we go, and in the morning I'll probably put a few fresh strawberries on the top since we did turn it into a strawberry coconut cream poke cake. Alright, that's it. I think the pie is about ready to be put in the refrigerator too. This is going in the refrigerator and the desserts are done. Well, pretty much. I still have to make the meringue, but other than that, and if I put strawberries, the desserts are done. <laughs> And that's the